What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers. And uh, we are back in the survival world. Um, considering that the last episode just kind of went bananas. Um, yeah, so... Pretty much my idea was not a good one at all. Um, didn't work out. And I really think at this point, in this stage in the game... Uh, our best bet is to wheel this thing past the trees, turn it, hook it up to a rope, and pull it over to the hill. It's, it's the best I got. Out, out of all the things we've tried and tested, it just seems like it works the best. Um, so with that in mind, we do need to grab a couple of these things in order to make said stuff. Um, like the Smith, I uh, might even need the smith and the crafting table. We'll have to put all this stuff back. Uh, kind of like we did before in the creative world. Or no, actually I did this in the survival world when I did my test. That's right. Um, I was like, I feel like I've done this before. Okay, so in order to make one of these, I need an iron ingot. Which I don't believe I have just lying around. I don't think. Um, I'm gonna need some of this stuff for cooking. Like so. Um, Alright, so we'll grab one of these, we'll throw it in the oven. And so we need one of those we need a couple of rope drums. Actually, no. We're gonna need one rope drum, I think. It, it may be better... I've had a few suggestions on putting, like, um, one hook eye on each end rather than one in the center, so I might... I might do that, in, and in which case we actually need uh, two of these. If I can remember what crafting window to use. Okay, and the others, the rope stuff's in here, I believe, but I need I need the other one to make said rope. Okay, so for two rope drums, we need six rope. We need a rounded timber, which I don't have. We'll also need so that's twelve rope actually for two of these. And we need some metal parts and a timber for a crank. That's not that hard. Um, so let me grab one of you. We're going to need another one of these for the metal parts, I believe. Okay. So from here... Wait, is it here? No, it's the forge. Here we go. All right, so let's craft one of those. Done with that. Um, let's make some rounded timber, because we're gonna need that. Um, and the last bit is rope, which this makes five. So if I have 12, I need three of these, and that's two of those. So if I need three of these, then that's six of these which translates to 12 flax. If I did my math right. Who knows? We'll know in a second. Oh wait, that was over here. All right, so there's 10 and then, yeah, that's fine, whatever. All right, so let's get this going. That's four. Okay, that should cover us, I think, I hope, because I really want to keep enough flax that we can, like, replant it later in the new area. I don't have to go hunting for more. Okay, so we'll throw the rope, the timber, and that in there. So we'll craft... Wait, why did it throw... Oh, I shift-clicked 
didn't I? So two of these. Oh, I was like, wait a minute, why is this not working? I know I have the metal pieces. Okay. Um, so now, I think the next step is to um, head over to the main area. And we're going to build the little platform that we need. Oh, wait, no, actually, before we do that, um, since this is survival and I kind of need to save myself some time, let's throw these two in here, craft two of these. Oh, my! Okay, one makes five. Forgot about that. Um, whoops. I totally forgot that. Okay. So we're going to put one there, and we'll put one there, and then what I think I'm actually going to do is try and pack this stuff up again. Um, unfortunately, I don't seem to have any room in my inventory to pick up any of this stuff. Okay. Uh, here's an interesting question. Do these hold their inventory? No, they do not. Okay. Well, I may not have any options then. Um, so we're going to leave that there. We're going to go build the pulley platform. And then um, after that, we'll come back and hopefully have enough inventory space to reload everything back into the cart. And hopefully pull it over to us. Okay, so good news and bad news. The good news is the platform for the pulley is coming along rather well. <clears throat> the bad news is, I kind of forgot a very important part to the pulley system, which is the little spinny things, the, the latch blocks, catch blocks, whatever they're called. Um, so yeah, kind of need to make a crafting bench because mine's way over there and I'm just being really, really, really lazy and don't feel like walking all the way back over there. Um, plus, I've been using actually, actually a lot of timber um, in order to make the platform thing, which I probably didn't need to go that crazy with, but in survival anyways, I was just thinking like I kind of wanted it to be stable kind of thing. Um, man, this is a really steep hill, hill by the way. <laughs> So, yeah, this is my little platform at the moment. Um, whoa! Okay. T is auto run. Which, why this wants to... What is it doing? Why does it want to snap like that? And more importantly, why can't I rotate it? Okay. It just does not want to rotate over the, like, right sane way. What the heck? No, like, for real, what is going on with this right now? Why will it only attach that? Alright, I'm putting it there because... Yeah, that's stupid. Um, okay, so what do I need for a catch block? Round and a, a regular. Do I have any rounds on me? I don't, so let's make a couple of those. Because we're going to need two... Of these one for each end nope give me that nope didn't mean it whatever I don't care okay so put that there give me these back okay so now we at this point um, we can make the pulley system uh, which this is going to end up being a really time-consuming process that I just realized because um, there's this whole, you know, I have to build this part and then I gotta go like attach this one at a time or ugh, it's exhausting. Okay, so this should be... Four by four away from it. So let's go here, here, and then this should work. 
Wait! Crap. Give me this back. I actually want this one to be an extended. Um. Okay. Again, since this makes none. I can place the, the ri- Wait, what? What is happening to the building in this game right now? One reason. Thank you. Uh, okay. I guess I'm just in the way, because apparently you have to stand like 50 feet away before you can build anything. I also have to make sure that I rotate this the <clears throat> right way. That's the other issue faced with us. Um, I might actually break this back down. Wait, why? Wooden mallet. Oh, you have to right click. Never mind. Um, apparently that was all I had left on that. Okay. I thought it was just, um, I thought it was really just like not a glitch, like not loading the durability bar. Did not realize that it was basically just saying that you don't have any more durability left. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I should save myself a little bit of time by running one of the lines back with me. Is kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. We're going to connect up one of the lines. We're going to put everything back in the cart and then move it out. And then we should be able to start pulling it our way. Hopefully. Okay, so via breaking my inventories back and having every little thing crammed in to my inventory and, every, and I added a couple more storage containers as well, um, I think we actually got everything in one go because I got thinking about it. I'm like, I don't want to have to do this all over again, especially if this thing breaks. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up that timber and then... We're going to invisibly drive this, as we have before. And instead of trying to actually, like, drive it, what we're actually going to do is get it over here and just turn it. So that should save us from what we were running into before of... Um... By the way, the rope in this game is just OP. <laughs> I mean, it just passes right through trees, and it's great. Um, so somewhere about here should be okay, and we'll probably push it a little bit, uh, but we don't really need to make, I actually don't want to push it too high up the hill because I'm afraid it'll roll back, so I think here is probably good, now if I can just get myself out of here, there we go. Um, so at this point, we get the fun part of running this rope line back. Though at least we have a bit of an idea of where we're going. Um, and by the way, for any of you that have, uh, that play Medieval Engineers and stuff, and have difficulty with the walking part, as I do, because the walking gets just painful to me after a while, um, I found that the, by default, the T button is the auto run which is a beautiful beautiful piece of control machinery um because who wants to hold a button down the whole time you have to run that's just it's awful uh what's the world coming to so yeah like right now i basically just let it go my hands were off the keyboard and then i just hold shift whenever my stamina comes back and i can run a little bit but this is much further away in survival than it is in creative when you can just fly. I learned that the hard way when running one of these lines over. So, there's that. Um, but yeah, and I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna get everything up the hill. I think that's gonna be a manual job, unfortunately. Um, I'm pretty sure that I've tried enough ways and without this turning into a proof of concept, like, whiteboard type series of trying to just come up with cart designs and things um i can't find a plausible solution to getting that up the hill now 
since you can replace timber, I did not realize that. I thought it was kind of like one, once it was in the world, it was in the world and you had to like break it down. But since you can just hold the F key and like pick it back up, all of the timber we have in play with the cart and this platform and other things is still usable. Like we could actually turn this into something else. Um, the only thing, only, only thing that I have thought of for getting it from here up there is some kind of basically vertical elevator and then a horizontal like ski lift style where it's like the wheels are between two beams and it just rolls that way or something but the time and effort that would probably take it's probably easier just to park it at the end of this hill and then just carry it up by foot kind of thing is probably come on now don't mess with me not in the mood. Okay, probably the best option. So from here, I think I'm gonna save it really quick and make sure everything's squared away and then we're gonna start doing our pullying. Okay, uh, it is working. Oops, no, no, Inspectator. It is working and I don't have to hold the shift. We did get it wired somehow the correct way. Um, this noise bothers me though. It sounds awful. I keep checking every few minutes of pulling, not minutes, obviously, but every little bit of, of pulling this cart. Actually, this is kind of doing its own thing all on its own. Um, you go, cart! Hey! That's probably where go cart came from. <laughs> it sounds like it's breaking, though. It's like the wood and the rope. In this game. I didn't really even need a pulley system. Holy crap, this thing made it halfway on its own. Good grief. Putting mechanics out of a job here. Um, yeah, I know I'm going to need to get it up the hill, though, because this hill is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I was happy that I don't have to hold shift the whole time at least. That's cool. The problem that I'm running into is I'm pretty sure this will get our stuff to us. The problem I'm having is I don't know in what shape the actual cart will be in. Or if it'll just be completely busted and I'll just be like dragging it up here with no wheels. Kind of thing. It actually looks like it's not moving. It really, really looks like it's not moving. Kind of thinking it's not moving. Um, do I have to redo the pulley thing now? Like hold shift this way? Does it? Did it change? Did something happen? I don't know what's going. on. <laughs> it just stopped working. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, to quote, uh, Captain Pike in the new Star Trek movie, is the parking brake on? Like, what, what the heck, man? I'm wondering if I just move it a little, like, maybe it's stuck and the wheels aren't going anywhere. I don't know. These carts, man. If I could carry more, like, if my character's backpack the invisible backpack actually i'm invisible so everything's invisible i guess but if the invisible backpack could carry more wouldn't really even be necessary for this the only thing is that is kind of the point of medieval engineers which is why i wanted to do a cart was kind of just the whole like medieval engineering it was it was do pulleys and you know winches and stuff like that to like get things to places and get you know, tote stuff. So what's holding you up, dude? Nothing. Nothing is holding you up. You're fine. What is happening? Alright, so essentially what we're gonna do then here is kind of do this the way we were going to, but that pulleys thing is gonna be a supplement. In that when I get to the point where I can't push it any further, then it'll fall to the pulley system to pull it up here, I guess. I don't really know how else to do this, to be honest. 
Oh good, and now it's rolling back. So all of that progress I just made is now moot. Other than getting it unstuck. Wait a minute. Where are you going? You're going further away. Oh, dag nabbit. It worked in creative. What's the problem? Hmm? -mm. I mean, this isn't a rope thing. That's the funny part. We were concerned about the rope being able to do what it's doing in survival. That's not the problem. The rope's not breaking. It's not disconnecting. But the pulley system isn't pulling it the way it did in creative. In creative, it got it up the hill. So... Unless it's just kind of like luck of the draw physics where it just so happened that one angle it was coming up wasn't right and by coming down here and unsticking it, maybe it'll work? I'm, I'm really not sure how this... Um, I am honestly not sure how the whole physics thing works in um, Medieval Engineers. I've had quite a few people not only tell me my designs were terrible, but also that... You know, they, there's some method to them because I was going off of what the game does for physics, not the way physics really works. Okay, see, this is what I mean. It's further back now, and I don't think it's moving. If we zoom in really close, we'll be able to tell. And I don't understand what changes, like, I don't get why all of a sudden now it won't pull it. Does that make any sense? Like, it pulled it halfway across the field, nothing changed, and then when I kept pulling it, it now it's just stuck. Like, it just won't go anywhere. And it's not stuck on anything. Like, the wheels are all touching the ground, the axle bar things are not touching the ground. So there should, in theory, be nothing holding this other than the fact that something is going wrong with the ropes. Which I have zero idea how to fix other than detaching them. Do I have... I have one. So I could detach one rope without having to un unpack my stuff and make more rope, which is not ideal. I'm really just confused as to why it works one minute and not the other. That's the part that gets me. It's not that... I could have seen it not working from the get-go. Like, nope, it won't go that far, it can't pull it that far, whatever. But, like, detaching and reattaching the same rope should not matter. That shouldn't work, because you're just switching out a rope. That's all you're doing. So, I don't understand what's going wrong here. Um, and if this works, I'll be even more confused, because other than just writing it off as physics glitch, because... I mean, it's not like, hey, you put too much strain on the rope and now the rope tore. I'm... it's, it's like literally just swapping it out. So, I don't know. Um, I still think as many trips as I'd have to make for what's on this cart... It still probably works out to be faster overall, uh, but I'm definitely... Th this is the problem I have with games like Medieval Engineers, at least in its current form. I know it's early access, but still. It's like the premise of the game becomes... inconvenient? Like, the whole point of the game is to build things and to create contraptions and do medieval engineering, hence the name. But when the engineering breaks, what... I mean, you're left with basically just build, because the mechanical side of the engineering part is, like, it won't work right. You know, and I know, 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 before anybody starts commenting, I know this is a ridiculous contraption. I get that. Like, there is no way a person the size of a person should be able to carry enough rope to go all this way and hook it to some, nor should there probably be enough rope that would pull this thing. Like, I get that, you know. How many wheat fields and sheep have you sheared in order to get this much rope back in this era? I get it. My point is, it's still a game, and by the game standards, this kind of contraption should work. And when it doesn't, 
you're kind of like, well, I can just build a ramp and walk up the ramp and carry things manually. And you're like, I'm kind of seeming like I'm doing less engineering and more just building because the mechanic side of things is a little wonky. And there's even been uh, photo loss and ENRM comment frequently, not only on how bad my design was last episode, but also at how the more they're seeing with it, the more it's kind of like, so what physics are you using? Because this doesn't make sense, you know? Um, so that's the other thing with it, is it's not really super reliable in its uh, physics situation either. All right, so let's try this. And lo and behold, now it works. So apparently just switching the rope fixes things when the rope stops working. I'm not going to let go this time. I'm not going to switch into the spectator and all that stuff because that seems to be the issue is when you, once you get going, if you stop, the ropes like freak out and realize what you're doing and then go, nope, we're not supposed to be able to do this. So I'm just, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to hold this button until I see my cart within like eyeball distance. Um, so I apologize for those of you that just have to stand, you just, I just have to watch me standing here turning a crank wheel, but, um, it seems like my engineering doesn't work unless I just, once I get it going, if I don't stop. So, you know, there's that. Hey, what do you know? There it is. I was actually about to let go and check to see where it was because I was like, I've been holding this button for a while. It should be here by now. But look how it moves. It's just bouncing. Hey, that actually worked really well. <laughs> I got it really close. And as soon as I let go of this thing, it's just all falling apart. So yeah, I don't, I definitely don't want to do that. Um, I might want to back this off a little bit. Just a smidge. There we go. At least the wheels are on the ground now. Um, so, yeah. That actually worked fairly well. Now, what I don't know, and this is something I could use you guys' input on for those of you that are not only familiar with the game's own interpretation of physics, uh, but also in, you know, how this kind of stuff works. I'm wondering... If I did the same thing, I know I tried it up on the top part and it didn't really work, but I'm wondering if I try it a different way or try and make a stable platform or something like that, or just, you know, leave this one here, rehook those, start, you know, those types of things. I'm wondering if it could eventually get it up there or not. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. In the meantime, I think we're going to wrap things up here on a high note with a success. We got our cart, all of our stuff is now at this walkway area and I'm about to starve. So, um, on that note, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I will see you all next time. Peace.